Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com and welcome. I thought I would do a player review. This was uh, a gap, a bullish gap, actually, in which I know people um, always ask me about bullish gaps. It's funny because I prefer to do bearish gaps. That's really my thing. Um, it's just I personally think that shorts work faster and harder and bigger and stronger um, and quicker than bullish uh stocks than, than long moves. But the funny thing is that most people do like to go long. I don't know why, but they do. Um, I certainly can read bullish gaps just as well as I can read bearish gaps and rate them and look at them in exactly the same manner that I do bearish gaps. Um, there's some slight differences, uh, but overall, uh, they're still very powerful. So last week, Facebook had earnings. All right. Now, I was watching it because I didn't know what it was going to do in the earnings. Let's see if I can make this bigger. It's going to matter here. No. Um, so, basically, Facebook had the earnings and I was watching it because I usually watch a lot of the earnings to see what's going to gap for me the next morning. This is like after 4 o'clock. And I saw it gap up and I was like, woo, because I knew that it was what I call a corrective gap. What do I mean by that? I mean a gap that's actually fixed the trend in the chart. So let's go back. Prior, uh, let me have to take off these days. I have to take off last week. Hold on. Oh, oh I don't think it's going to get rid of here. Pretend that isn't there. That's Friday. It's not going to. It's not going to let me get rid of Friday. Um, but I took off the Thursday. Anyways, pretend that you don't see that. Without the gap that happened last week, Facebook was in a downtrend. It was. It was in a downtrend. All right. And I'm not going to go over this all here, but the fact is it, it was. So there wasn't any reason to buy Facebook. Now, the gap happened. Here, let me bring it back. There we go. The gap happened then on Thursday. Okay. So this is Thursday morning, the 25th. And I must have said a hundred times. I might, I might have said it 200 times. From 8 a.m. to 9.30, don't short this gap. Don't short it. Don't fade it. This isn't a short. This is a buy. This is a buy. This is a buy. It's a buy. I think one person in my room did not either hear what I said, um, came in late, or ignored me anyways, or didn't believe me, and tried to short this thing. The reality was that Facebook was not a short last week, and it's not a short probably for, you may as well just say ever again. Um, because what happened last week actually fixed this chart and Facebook's higher. So the short-term target on Facebook for a swing trade or core trade is $50. I actually think it's probably going to get up to like 65 by the end of the year. That's, you know, that's a $30 profit from where we're looking at right here. And uh, I certainly think in a bullish market, which we're in right now, uh, overall, this can do it. There's strong buying that came in to create this gap to fix the chart, and it's real. And you can even see how it held the next day. Do you even see how it held here the next day? Even if that huge gap up there happened there Thursday, it held the next day. This is the power of the gap. You don't short something like this. And I just want to point out how how you have to have you have to have a way of looking at these and determining what to look at. Otherwise, you would never think that that was going to work. What happened on Thursday that Facebook was a long why? Because the stock closed the night before at 26.51 and opened here the next night at 33.54. Okay? So it opened all the way up there. That's almost $10. All right? Most people would think, and lots of people do, that that's too extended. And then they're therefore, I'm talking about day traders. They want to short this then. They think it's too extended. It's too big of a gap. They want to short it. And some people think the gaps fill themselves. That isn't true either. But even people that don't, you know, believe in gap fills try to fade or short these types of huge gap ups because they think that they're going to come in because the size of the gap was so huge. But that's not the case. This was a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful buy. In fact, I have this in my trends class. I'm going to have to make adjustments to it now because the one thing is the trends class that I do, 
every single time I do the class, I have to update the charts that I have in the class, and it would be very interesting, and people can retake the class for free as, after they pay for it the first time to follow along with how the charts are going that I have in the class, and Facebook's one of them. It was one of those great examples to use and talk about, and now it's done something like this, and Facebook is not an uptrend. Facebook is not a short anymore. There's no reason to short something that's in an uptrend, and you certainly don't short something in an uptrend when it just made the brand, 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 brand new uptrend the day of the gap, okay? There's this huge power. The way you make money trading is to trade with the trend. The beautiful thing about gaps is that they tell you what the trend is. You read the trend by reading the gaps. You have to know how to rate gaps to determine what gaps are gaps that are following the trend or making the trend or correcting the trend. Not every single gap in a chart has meaning. Not every single gap in a chart is playable. However, that being said, this gap last week on Facebook on Thursday was playable, and it was a long, it was a brilliant call that I made in this. Absolutely fantastic. I doubt that any trading room anywhere called Facebook is along last week with that huge gap up but me. Why? Because I know how to read gaps very, very well, and I prefer to not even do longs. I prefer to do shorts, and I can call a long like that that's, you know, $10 gapping up and call it and say, buy it. It's a good buy. And it was a good buy and it is a good buy. And, and like I said, it's a good buy as a core, as a core long. And with this bullish market, it's, it's a good, it's a good pick. You know, it's, it's a good trade. It was a good trade last week too. So for those of you that think that I can't, um, trade bullish gaps, I absolutely can. I read them just as well as every bearish gaps. I just prefer to do bearish gaps. Um, but you know, my system works in both directions. And the interesting thing is that you know, again, most traders do not look at things the way that I do. I really look at things in the direction of what's setting the course of action in the price movement of a chart based on the price and technical analysis for the direction that's being set by institutional money. And you cannot trade against that. And the reason that individual traders lose money is they do trade against that. They don't understand how to read these things or what's going on. I feel so privileged by the universe that I was given this information to be able to read these things correctly and now I'm teaching it to people and there isn't anyone else teaching these things like I am. These are bold things that I'm trading, bold calls I'm making, bold trades I personally am taking when I do things that seem impossible and yet they work. There was a couple of calls I made last week actually that were just, you know, very similar to this Facebook thing, like almost unbelievable that it's impossible to think that it would work and no one else would say it but me. And, and yet it works. So if you'd like more information about how to trade gaps, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. This is Facebook. Could almost do a whole class on Facebook. Facebook is higher. Buy it if you want to swing core trade. Long bullish with the market. It'll rally up to all-time highs and break over that area this year for sure. 50 is a normal target. Dream target 65. And I think with the QQQs rallying up this year, it's going to get there. So if you'd like more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everyone. Have a great weekend.